Hello and welcome back to our hardcore series. As you may be able to notice, there are a few things different that are behind me. Hold on, let me get let me get out of here. Alrighty. For one, the oak trees have been moved over there. The spruce trees are a little bit more spaced out, and this hill is entirely gone. There's also some more torches over there, but we're gonna discuss that later. This hill is entirely gone, the grass is still growing back. I did that in between. I just dug out this entire hill, flattened it off so that we can get to building our starter house. Which I do have a few ideas for. I went into a creative world. I may be able to flash up a picture on the screen. If not, then I'll post it somewhere in here of what I managed to get for the front part of the house in a creative world. I'm going very solitude desk over there, but Riften esque here. So, the house is very lopsided. It's very weird and heavily built out of wood and a lot of spruce. Hence the reason we have big trees. But besides that fact, I also did a whole lot of mining. Hold on, let me get back over here. A whole lot of mining. I realized at the end of the last video I had one piece of cobblestone to my name. So, I went ahead and dug out a mine shaft. I should probably put my armor on while I'm thinking about it. There we go. But we did a whole lot of mining. Got some a little bit of deep slate. If you see the walls and fences and stuff I have, I did try to do an iteration of the house in a video that I end up scrapping. So there's a bunch of stuff. I have a heart of the sea. Another picture I'm going to have to flap, flash up on the screen because the one second I'm not recording while I was taking down the old house and flattening this hill, there was a buried treasure map, I believe, like, right in this general vicinity. I think it was, like, right here. But I will flash a picture of what it looked like when I found it and all that other stuff. So, yeah, I had a buried treasure map right here. Or a buried treasure, not the map, the actual treasure. So I have a heart of the sea and some prismarine and now some cooked fish. So food, hey! But I also have a lot of copper. I have a tiny bit of iron, not much, but still something. I have some leaves. A lot of this stuff is kind of left over from when I tried to do another house. I may like stick up a video of me building it because I did record it, but I didn't like it, so I ended up scrapping it. So I may slip in a clip of me building the other house because I was going to try to freestyle it. it. Ended up not working. Hated it. Scrapped it. Which happens, sometimes you try stuff and it just doesn't work. But today, I've got to get the actual starter house in place. Because right now we are living in a noob cube and that's just not going to work for much longer. Because I'm already, well, evident by all the stuff being out here. I'm already outgrowing the noob cube. So, I I'm going to need some more space. But before I do anything, I have to make sure I have all the material. For context as to why that keeps happening, underneath, I think, this vicinity, or around about in here, there's an underwater cave that I filled in the top portion of. So, zombies keep turning into drowned right around this area, and it's very irritating. Hopefully I can drown out the noise. I'm just going to use this. Also, there I have a whole bunch of slabs. Do I know what I'm going to do with it? No. Boop, boop. Okay. Project box. Return. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, you have moss. And brown dye. I may snatch both of those from you. Because I do have a few emeralds. I don't have many. But moss is going to be a major thing. Hey, you come back here. That I am most definitely getting some of. And I don't have access to brown dye right now. So I may take a bit of that. I'll save these other two for later. Thank you. Yeah, I have something to do to terraform my entire mine. I thought a creeper was walking up on me. No. Nope. I'm safe, for the most part. Unless he chooses violence. Bro! 
You underestimate how much I like this bed. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. I want to be able to build this house. With daylight. Give me the ability to sleep. I need a buttload of trapdoors for those. There we go. Finally. Why did he drink so many of them? Why did you drink so many? I don't think you needed that many. Okay, let's go ahead and give you guys like an idea as to where we're putting this. Eventually this space is going to be taken up by another house. So this beginning part is going to look a little bit weird because I'm going to predict where this house is going to be. So we're going to quickly do one. Okay, hold on. I have a picture of this for a reason. Okay, so it's wall, door, wall, wall. Okay. And these guys are five out. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and then there. Yeah, that's it. And then it's three back away from here. I need cobblestone. So I'm going to grab some cobblestone. It's three back away from here where this wall starts. I actually may need to move this entire thing forward. Hold on. Actually make it match the chest. Ooh! You yeah, dropped the lead. You yeah, dropped the leads. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> those are mine now. You ain't getting those back. Okay, then one, two... Okay, so this entire thing is going to move forward quite a few blocks. This is where we're at so far. I think this is where I'm going to stop with the house so far. Because I have used so many resources and I'm still not completely done with it. This endeavor was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I didn't quite expect it to be that way. So I think we're going to try to move as much of our stuff as we can into this bottom floor for the time being. And just kind of work off of that. While I figure out something else to do for a little bit so my brain can decompress. Alrighty, cutting back in. And the noob cube is finally gone, leaving us a little bit of a blank slate to continue this building this way whenever we get the time, which is the reason this wall looks this way. Don't worry, it will not stay this way. It will look pretty eventually. But right now, this is what we've got for our building. I did move everything inside. Everything's in these chests and these barrels here. I do have some extra spillover storage back here when I need it. And this is our little crafting station. Eventually, I do want to get all the furnace variants, the blast furnace, the smoker. I want to get them all and put them against this wall. But for the time being, that's how that's sitting. And we still haven't even started on the second floor. So the thing I desperately need is this is kind of my tools and precious metals box. You can see that our coal supply, there is no coal in my furnace. And I only have 10 torches. That is all the coal we have. So I think I'm going to have to venture back to the mainland because my mine shaft has not turned up any coal. So I may just go mining for a bit later, but I think we should go find a cave just for a little bit of adventure in this episode. So I'm, I'm definitely going to be taking one of these crafting tables and the extra pickaxe. I think I want to leave these guys here and just make new ones. So we have So we have fresh tools with us. There we go. And I may need to make an iron pick and take it with me because when mining you tend to run into certain things you can't mine with a stone pick. I may try to go back to that village and work on that. Possibly. Let's head out on our little... Actually, I need food. Before I go and do anything, 
I do have a mighty lot of potatoes, so I may end up using that last little bit of coal to go ahead and cook some of them. Because I don't have all that much wheat. And that's only 12 pieces, that's not going to get me very far. So I may take some of these potatoes, and I'm just going to go ahead and take all the coal, but I'm going to use maybe two of it to cook as many as I can. these guys. Take as many of those as I can. Go ahead and throw the rest of this in the furnace. Because that one chicken isn't going to get us very far and I don't want to carry like 5,000 things of food because we do have some food in here. All this, all this, technically sweet berries are a food, which I do have a farm for those. I'll show you that in a second. But that's really all the food items we have. Unless I'm missing something. But our sweet berry farm, I don't think I recorded it, but it's right over here next to the pigs. Just something nice, simple, can't hurt yourself on it. But sweet berries aren't really the best food source. They are a food source, but they aren't the best, so. I'm going to try and get some potatoes. And I know I brought up solitude the last time. Solitude is a thing I'm wanting to do for the castle, but not a thing I'm wanting to do for the small dock town. When I mean small dock town, I'm thinking more along the lines of, let's see, which, which one is it? Like Morthal with those uh, bridges kind of over the marshlands and Riften where it's all basically a giant dock. That's kind of what I'm going for when it comes to this like town area that I'm building now. Ooh, nap time! Because the problem with being out here is I do have a mine shaft. It's over in that area. I've kind of like put it where I want to put the dock so I can make it look fancy later. But it hasn't come up with any good caves. They're all underwater caves that I've had to close up until I get some form of water breathing. And I do have a heart of the sea but I have no way to make it into a conduit to make that stuff actually available to me. So for the time being, I've closed them up and I'm just going to use that as a strip mine for diamonds later. So I think we're going to have to go back to the mainland. A, we need cows. B, I need more resources in general. Whether it's a new type of wood I'm bringing home, uh, cows would be great, sheep would be great because right now I only have pigs. Let's let's go with the 22 potatoes, and then we'll have some more potatoes when I get home. But either way, I want to come back with more resources. Oh, cow. I should have brought my leads. I didn't even think to do that. Please, game, I just want a cave. Oh, there's an azalea tree here. Oh, that means there's a lush cave underneath it. I wonder how far down I would have to go. Well, I can get rid of dirt this way. You know what? Let's try this. Let's try this. May not be the most effective way to mine, but it is a way to mine. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And I am, in fact, desperate, so let's go. Oh? Didn't have to get all the way down to bedrock. There was a creeper there, though. Doesn't look to be a lush cave, but it probably flows into one. Okay, I need to build this up. Oh, good god. Oh, that's not safe. Nope. I'm going back up to my hole. Screw you. Well, this isn't safe. This is not up to standards, sir. What the heck you just drop me in? Okay. I need to make the area around me safe. 
is the actual cave entrance. This is bull. Couldn't find it. There's an even more shallow cave over here. I'm gonna go through this cave first. Because I would see them before they see me, hopefully. Oh my god. <laughs> the fox squeaking scared the crap out of me! <laughs> I wig out on screen. There's no way to hide that. That's only three iron. I'm gonna need a lot more in order to work on any of this. There's also another hidey hole. I can probably bring my stuff from over there to over here. Why am I such a scaredy cat right now? <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound like friend shape things. Please, no. I wish to not deal with non friend shape thing. Oh, that sounds like Skeleton, and I do not want Skeleton. Flesh Cave! Found it! Gonna need this iron first. Give a second, I'll be right with you. Ooh. Oh, there's so much useful stuff down there. Question is, how do I get down without dying immediately? Oh, there's a spore blossom right there. I heard an axolotl! I can start my collection. Oh, there's iron and redstone on that wall I came in on. Oh! Hi, little guy! down there. There's an entire geode right there I'm missing. Two. Two geodes right next to each other. There's one right there. One right there. God help me when I try to find my way back up. Guarantee you the mobs we're hearing are inside the geodes. So suckers are dark. <gasps> Diamonds! First diamond of the series! There another geode? There may be another geode down there. Typically these guys have entrances, but this one I'm not... Oh, I found it. <laughs> I don't want to fall into that because I'm pretty sure there's a skeleton in there, but nice to know it's there. I'm definitely going to have to come back and excavate all the calcite, that's for sure. Why am I hearing so many zombies, man? Heavens, how many of y'all are in there? Oh, please don't tell me there's a zombie spot in there. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 no. Getting back to semi safe area. Oh, there's another zombie there. Nope. Leaving. Going back to safety circle. Screw you. Four and a half hearts. Did not enjoy that one. Almost died for some dang amethyst. I'm coming out of here with 26 iron. Just one. Oh, please no. 
Oh no, it's a child. Keep that thing at arm's length. No, 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 no. We are not doing the children. Alrighty, and that's going to wrap up our little adventure for starting on the starter base and a little, I want to say, mining adventure that almost turned into death. I went down to four and a half hearts at one point when battling a lot of zombies. There could potentially be a zombie spawner down that hallway and I want to go back to investigate to see whether or not it is. Or there's just a lot of mob spawns. Either way... That is a good area for us to keep mining at, and it's really close to our village. And our village turns out to be very close to our base, so the village may actually be more useful. And which means we could potentially get villagers here on our island at some point to get us the stuff that we can't necessarily get on our own. Which would be great. Especially for enchanted books and things of the like. So with that, I'm going to have to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment for anything you would want done on the island. Please do keep it positive. And with that, I'll see you later.